Between 1943 and the end of the war, what became British Airways ran a secret courier service from Britain to Sweden, carrying gold, spies and high-priority materials like ball bearings in an operation the Germans tried hard to shut down. Because the British aircraft were flying into neutral Stockholm, they could not be military aircraft. To get around this legal nicety, some unarmed Mosquito FB-6 fighter bombers were transferred to the British State Airline, British Overseas Airways Corporation, or BOAC, to be flown by BOAC pilots and navigators. Officially, the RAF would not be involved in the operations. The de Havilland Mosquito, known as the Wooden Wonder due to its frame mostly being constructed of wood, was a British twin-engine shoulder-winged multi-role air combat aircraft, faster than most German fighters of the day. Such was its versatility that it was employed as an unarmed fast bomber, a tactical bomber, a pathfinder, a night fighter and a maritime strike aircraft, among many other roles. It had a crew of two, pilot and a navigator who sat side by side in the cockpit. It would become particularly famous for its daring low-level precision attacks on German security and police institutions and prisons in Europe. The mosquitoes were camouflaged in standard RAF colours, but given large civilian registration numbers in place of RAF roundels on the wings and fuselage. The primary reason for using mosquitoes was speed. Before the Mosquito entered service, the British had used Lockheed Hudsons and Lodestars and other rather cumbersome aircraft, but they were slow and often were shot down by German fighters. The route to Sweden was highly dangerous, flying from RAF Lukas in northeast Scotland over the North Sea and between German-occupied Denmark and Norway to get to Stockholm. The Mosquito could outrun German fighters, making the 800-mile trip in about three hours. If they encountered German fighters along the way, they simply slammed down the throttles and sped out of danger. The Mosquito FB-6 used on the Stockholm route had a top speed of 384 miles per hour, making it difficult or even impossible for most German fighters to catch it. The primary reason for the Stockholm Express was ball bearings. Britain desperately needed high-quality ball bearings produced in Sweden, and also needed to limit the supply reaching Germany by buying them up for themselves. In return, the Swedes demanded gold, gold ingots or British gold sovereigns, in return for the ball bearings, and sometimes hard currencies such as US dollars. The Mosquitoes also carried diplomatic bags, airmail, secret documents, and sometimes a single passenger in the converted Bombay. The Bombay, the BOAC Mosquitoes, was lined with felt, fitted with a reading lamp, air controls, an oxygen supply, because the Mosquitoes flew above 35,000 feet, so the passenger would have to be on oxygen for the entire trip, an intercom, a flask of coffee, some sandwiches, and some reading material. A first dry trial run of the route was made by a Royal Air Force aircraft of 105 Squadron on the 5th of August 1942, and arrived and returned without incident. The first BOAC aircraft was delivered on the 15th of December 1942, and the first BOAC run was made on the 4th of February 1943. Six mosquitoes were delivered to BOAC between April and May 1943. In total, 13 aircraft would operate on this route during the war, the rest of the aircraft arriving to replace losses. Five of the Mosquitoes were lost during the war, but none of them to enemy action. All were lost due to mechanical failure or weather. But it was not for want of trying on the part of the Luftwaffe. The Germans were keen to shoot down these Mosquitoes, and fitted Junkers Ju-88 night fighters with nitrous oxide injection, dramatically increasing their speed at high altitude. BOAC ran its last Mosquito operation on the 30th of November 1944, thereafter the aircraft were returned to RAF service. The impact of the Stockholm Express on the war was significant. The ball bearings were vital to the British aircraft industry, but diplomatically it enabled Britain to maintain a strong relationship with neutral Sweden, which was also trading with the Nazis, and enabled downed RAF aircrew who had crashed in Sweden whilst bombing Germany and elsewhere to be returned to the UK. 
Another very important part of the Lion's usefulness was the extraction of people vital to the Allied war effort. For example, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr, who had fled to Sweden, fearing German arrest, and from there was flown on the Stockholm Express to the UK to join Tube Alloys, the British nuclear weapons project, part of the Manhattan Project. And all of this was only possible because of the magnificent wooden wonder, the de Havilland Mosquito, one of the finest aircraft of World War II. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.